might start that over again now. When you I recall an instance in Carter County where uh, two well known You made an important statement, of course, about people being clannish. Would you would you repeat that statement, please? People are clannish in this county to an extent, uh, often a very large extent, because uh, they uh, like to know that their public officials are either native sons or have been accepted by uh, people that they regard as leaders in the community. Now, uh, they don't like interlopers. I recall an instance a uh, case was filed against two prominent citizens of Carter and Shannon County on a contract for the sale of uh, staves, barrel staves. And there was no question about the, uh, the evidence, but uh, they had a very astute attorney from St. Louis representing the uh, plaintiff. And after he had made his opening statements to the jury, he just wilted because he could see that uh, he being a furder, as the old timers would call him, he wasn't going to impress that jury one whit. And of course, they didn't even leave the box so they returned the verdict for the defendants. And the defendants didn't have a leg to stand on, actually, at law. But uh, he knew that he was whipped, and he was just a nice fellow, and he accepted it. On the subject of the recent election, would you like to make some... Uh, that would account, I think, for uh, the uh, manner in which the election uh, uh, and, the, and the result of the election, because uh, while uh, two of the candidates were strangers to the county, one had been before the people before, and they had turned him down because of his uh, uh, residence in the county being of such short duration. And uh, that is uh, one of the things that uh, that uh, I have tried to illustrate by this case that where the men were so sued over stave bolts, or staves, barrel staves, that uh, they just don't like an interloper. And it's well known among the uh, legal fraternity that <coughs> a country lawyer's got no business trying a case in the city. And a city lawyer's got no business trying a case in the country. Because they don't speak the same language, some way. You and I know each other in part because I've got a little girl and you've got a little grandson who are classmates. What would you like to have them know about Shannon County? I think that uh, what they ought to know is that Shannon County is uh, peopled by uh, men and women of pioneer spirit that they still are striving to better themselves and better their condition and better their neighborhood, their community, and their neighbors. I, I think that that is the overriding uh, uh, spirit that, it, that per, per, permeates through the county. Is Shannon County changing? Not very fast. It's, uh, it, there are some changes that I have noticed since I come up here. But as I told you a while ago, it's mainly that uh, the first generation of veterans, sons of veterans, is passing out of the picture. And we've got a new independent uh, generation coming on that 
not going to be bound by the old traditions, that is, political traditions. What do the young people want? I'm not sure that I can answer that. Place in the sun, I would say, a little uh, a home, family, about what the old people wanted. Do they want to stay here? They, most of the young people would rather stay here if there was any opportunity, if there's any employment. Is it becoming more expensive to stay here? Is it more difficult to stay in Shannon County and have an expect a, 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 a reasonable lifestyle according to expectations? It is, because, uh, 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 and for that reason, uh, uh, those people that still maintain residence here oftentimes work in St. Louis and uh, commute backwards and forth over the weekend because they, uh, there's not such employment in the county that would uh, allow them to exist other on the salary that they can make locally. What uh, will happen when the mines come into Shannon County? That will depend uh, largely on the, the effect that the unions uh, exercise over the lives of uh, their workers. If uh, we have a free labor market, I would say that it will be a great benefit to the county because the young people, and there's every kind of uh, employment available to the young people in the, in the mining community, from uh, office boy to uh, superintendent. By the way, uh, our uh, division engineer at uh, Willow Springs is a Grandin, Missouri boy. And you said that Shannon County is a place for people with pioneer spirit. Do you detect that that spirit still exists in the young? To a lesser degree. The young have uh, read a book, so to speak, and they are trying to find a an easier way to make a living than uh, the pioneers did. The pioneers had to clear the land and pile the stumps and uh, roll the logs out into a pile and burn them. And the young people, I don't think they would do that. Do you think that the old people were tougher and have a better character than youth today? I don't think that they are tougher or have a better character, but they've got a different outlook. Uh, the pioneers in this county come in here for the, because they could find land that they could buy within their means and uh, clear the land and establish a farm and a home. I don't think the young people would want to do that. They, that is awfully hard work, clearing land. I had a brother-in-law that told me that when they was clearing the farms out down in the wilderness country, that would be the northeast part of Oregon County, that they couldn't burn the logs, they couldn't pile the logs on the ground that they was clearing because there wasn't room. They'd have to drag them off, through the, off of the land through the woods those trees would be 100 or 120 feet high and and uh, it, about 80 to 100 feet of it would be clear logs. All the way from, I've seen the stumps that were six foot across, pine, uh, the yellow buck pine timber. Now much of the forest is coming back. Is it making a difference that in a sense the wilderness is now returning? Yes, it is making this difference. Uh, it enables more of the young people to stay in the county and have a uh, livelihood through the timber work that uh, will sustain them. I can recall that my father told me when I was a boy that once the pine timber is gone, 
and never have any forest anymore. But I found that that wasn't so, that they're still harvesting timber. And that has been 70 years ago that he told me that. Do you remember how it was in those days? Is it a more attractive place today? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, in the, those days, the uh, it was cut over land, and they, it was cut and slash. Get out. Uh, now we have fine stands of pine uh, over that cutover land, and it was it was just a desert. They just cut slice and get out. And the game was gone too, wasn't the game it? Game was gone. Mm -hmm. Now tomorrow morning the uh, country is going to be taken over by the deer hunters. Now that that signals something. Mm -hmm. They'll harvest uh, forty or fifty thousand deer. I can remember when California would harvest 20,000 bucks, and they would count that a fine season. But uh, Missouri would harvest 40 or 50,000 bucks, and maybe 10 to 12,000 uh, doors, and I don't think anything of it.